Hello everyone, my name is Scott. Welcome back here to the channel. Welcome back, as always. It's great to be back myself. Um, I'm working on my, my minis. I did a mini previously on um, watch, see, and look, and I, and I also did one on uh, tell and teach. And today I'd like to focus on the uh, two verbs of go and come. Now, of course, there are very important verbs and they're used in everyday situations. But sometimes they can be confusing. Do I say go in this situation or do I say come in this situation? So I hope to make this uh, clear for you. First off, I just had to position things here. So let me position it to make it easier. So I'm here and he's over there and I'd like him to, to be where I am. So I'll say, could you come here where I am? Could you come here? Um, now he's there and where I am in my position, so I'm going to go over to him. So I'll go over there to uh, help him if he has a problem. So that case, come and to go. That may be easy enough. Now, sometimes the problem may be uh, where you are and, and what you're talking about. So I'd like to give you a situation, okay? Uh, two friends are talking about another friend's party at a different location where they are, where they are talking. Okay, so the one friend asks the other friend, are you going to his party on Friday night? Uh, are you going to? So that situation, you're not at the party and you're not at the location where it's going to be held. So you use going in that regard. It's simple enough, I'm sure. Are you going to his party on, uh, on Friday night? Now, two friends are talking and the one friend is having the party. It's his party, and he's asking another friend, are, are you coming to my party on Friday night? Now, the location is not that person's home, but because it is his or her home, uh, the question will uh, use the word come. Are you coming to my party on Friday night? Now, I should say, if you say, are you going to my party on Friday night, it's not a total mistake, but are you coming to my party on Friday night is more natural in that regard. Uh, the location is where I am going to be and it's my party, so are you coming to my party? Okay, let me give you another situation. I'm at school now, as you can see the blackboards in the back behind me here, that's school. So the students are leaving and I'll say, are you coming next week? Okay, because this is a location where we have school. Are you coming next week? And um, in that sense, yes, I'm coming next week. Yes, I'll be in class next week as a response. Because the location is here. So are you coming to class next week? Now, if I'm at a different location and I see a student at the Starbucks, I don't know if I should say that, but anyways, if I see a student at a coffee shop and I'll say, are you coming to class next Friday? Even though we're not at school now, I'll say, are you coming to class next Friday? That's a party day, wasn't it? Next Thursday, I'll change the day. Are you coming to class next Thursday? Now, we're not, we're not at school now, but it is my class in that regard. So I'll say, are you coming to class uh, next Thursday? Even though the location is different. Now, the last thing I want to do is to complicate and confuse you. So I hope you can get the idea. So if it's uh, the base is where you are, like your home for that party, you'll say come. If the base is not where you are and you're not connected, in that case, you use the word go. So are you going to the party on Friday to mutual friends ask? Are you coming to my party on Friday? Uh, I'll ask that in uh, that party's at my place. So I'll use come in that situation. I hope you can figure it out. I do hope so. Now, another thing that may be confusing, like if somebody calls me and I move to where that person is, I won't say I'm going, I'll say I'm coming. So even though I'm moving that direction, in English sometimes come means go. But it means is I'm coming to where you are. You called me, I'm going to your location. I'm going to where you are, so I'm coming, you'll say in that regard. So if somebody rings your doorbell and you're in the living room or you're in the kitchen, you'll say I'm coming to answer the door, not I'm going in that, in that case. So you want to use come in that to go over to where that person is. I hope this is not confusing you. I really don't want to do that. But 
just want to, I'm going to just put it all together again. So two friends are talking from a different location. They'll use the word going to a party of a third friend. The party is at my home and I'll use the word coming to my party, uh, even though we're not at my home at this point. And student, are you coming to class next week? At school, I'll use that question. Outside of school at a coffee shop, I'll still use that question because it is my class. In that case, are you coming to my class in that way? Not are you going to class? But two students talking at a third lo- at a different location, are you going to school next week? Uh, because it's not their class, it's not their school. In that, in that way, they'll say, are you going to school? I hope this makes it clear. And if you do have any comments or questions about today's contents, uh, please do uh, leave a comment. Also, if you would like and subscribe, um, I can expand on this more in the future if there are any comments. But for now, I hope you're okay with uh, go and come. I do really hope so. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll be back here again. Have a great day.